Now, since 1988, the world has marked December 1st as the World AIDS Day. While most of Kenya has made steps to stem the spread of HIV and AIDS, Bungoma and Kakamega counties are among those recently recording high infection rates. Mark Namaso has just returned from that region with the following report. In Bungoma County, Western Kenya, commercial sex work has been big business here, particularly along the Nairobi Malaba Kampala route. In one of the restaurants in Bungoma town, one commercial sex worker introduces herself. Mimi ni Muzangona. Ama what tunasema sa zingine ni female sex worker. For Maximila and her colleagues, truck drivers make some of the most reliable clients by virtue of regional economics. We are on the highway, Lomesema, Nairobi, Uganda, what highway, na trucks. Upon your clients, we to Napata. However, this business is fraught with danger. HIV, other STIs, and untrustworthy clients. When Angandianga is the agent of Wendo, come up with love. And I'm Chukua and I'm Ambia. Twende, the pair left on. So say, yeah, at own any no, no, Conagari, Maranina, and Asema, Winim Zima. Sazingine Mungina and Akulazimisha. Ufanya mapenzi na ye bila mpira kwa sababu sasa mko kwa rumu na mko watu wawili. Asa ina, inakubidi, yani anakurep. So unwilling to disclose their HIV status, these commercial sex workers boast of being well versed in keeping safe in their line of duty. Unajua kichiprotect, hauta ambukiza makonjwa. Ama for example, if you are already infected, huta reinfect mungina. The latest statistics from the National AIDS Control Council paints a dire situation for Bungoma County. In 2013 and 2014, less than 100 new infections were reported, but after 2015, when the last survey was done, this jumped to over 1,100, representing a 1,000% increase. When you have it at being even 50%, it's alarming. If trucks were to blame, then what changed? They have passed through Bungoma County for decades, yet numbers have never changed significantly. Those trucks did not have a stopover in Kandui, like it's happening right now. The major stopover of these trucks was in Malaba, Malaba border. Bukembe is a new center for trucks. If you go there at night, you're going to realize there's a lot of activity among uh, the truck drivers and these uh, commercial sex workers there. Another almost invisible population segment key to unraveling the reason why Bungoma County has witnessed rising cases of HIV infection are men having sex with men. The exact number in Bungoma County is unknown, so they claim to have a substantial population. Research indicates males having sex with males or MSMs stand a greater risk of contracting HIV than the ordinary heterosexual population. <laughs> Hawajajua kwa sababu najua ni bado stigma iko lakini sasa tunajaribu kwa ile kwa kuwatoa kwa hiyo stigma. Yao namwambia huyu mtu amezaliwa hivi. Some sources have blamed the influx of students from universities and tertiary institutions in the area for the rising HIV infection rates, though this is debatable. Most of the university students actually find themselves pressured by their peers to have sex. And um, this sex mostly is, of course, premarital. Most of them are having sex with partners who they don't know their HIV status. Various interventions have been put in place, especially emphasis on abstinence, being faithful, using protection, and strict adherence to medication with special population segments in mind. Even here, Bungoma, when they go back to school, like in high school, and they are on ARVs, they don't carry the ARVs, and if they carry the ARVs into schools, they don't take the, the drugs because of fear of stigma. Huwa tunasisitiza mambo ya kupigana na unyanyapa stigma. Kwa sababu wengi, wengi wetu mimi nikiwa mmoja wao, huwa tunapitia hiyo stigma na tunahimizana kuovakamu hiyo stigma. 
Kakamega County also in Western Kenya has also experienced a spike in new HIV and AIDS infection rates. We speak to some of the stakeholders in the anti-HIV fight to tell us exactly what they think is the contributing factor to this state of affairs. In 2014, the new HIV infection rates among others per year stood at 172 persons. This has since changed in just two years for the worse. We actually had 6,123 new cases of HIV. We have a few factors that are contributing to that. The main one being uh, that we have actually increased our coverage of testing. Again, drug abuse, stigma, commercial sex and rising numbers of tertiary institutions flooding the area with a youthful population have been fingered as probable causes as well as casualties of rising infection rates. Initially we had very few tertiary schools, colleges, but with the most Masinde Mururo and Sigalagala being, uh, being upgraded to a national uh, school, the influx has gone up. And these are still the young age that are, are very active in sex and that is also contributing to our high numbers. We are also putting in interventions like partner notification services where when we get a positive client we actually like make a tree of uh, the, 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 the number of partners this particular client has and from that we privately follow up the partners that have been listed by this individual that turned positive and through that we have been able to identify so many clients. And young people, especially those already diagnosed with HIV, continue battling stigma, although with the hope that society will view them through friendlier lenses with time. Living positive, it is not something that somebody wishes to, the drug burden. Even if somebody gets to be positive out of the social life, it is something that somebody shouldn't be stigmatized. Because I actually know even you yourself, if you're told this place is bad, don't go. You will go. You'll just move around the bush and you go. It remains unclear what exactly from the myriad of issues accounts for the rising HIV infection rates in these two counties. But as the world marks the World AIDS Day, the stakeholders' prayer is that the scourge will be conquered one person at a time, the sooner the better. Mark Namaswa. KTN News.